with Jordan Cornette. I'm Doug Sherman. So glad you could be here tonight as Zion Williamson jumps it up with Jordan Bruner. It's a win for Yale defensively. Make Duke jump shooters rebound and go. And that's how Duke will hurt you. Get out and go, Javin Deloria with the throwdown. But it's so much more for this Duke team. They feed off it. It energizes them defensively. They speed up the opponent and create turnovers. R.J. Barrett leans in and scores the bucket. It's intimidating them all the way out beyond the arc. Shot clock under 10. Tough shot by Oni. We've got guys like this, Mie Oni, at 6'7", he's a playmaker. You can give him the ball as the shot clock's winding out. On Williamson. Oni to the bucket with the left hand. Yale a perfect three for three from the floor. Barrett working on Phil's big size advantage. Off the air ball, DeLaurier with two more. And Bruner, who turned down Clemson in Georgia to play at Yale, sets up his teammate for the layup. Trey Phil's makes it 10-6 Yale. Attacking the rim, playing downhill to start. Williamson splits the double team right to the rim. Copeland's post entry taken away by Zion Williamson. Gives it off to Jones, and here comes Duke. Tie the ball game, 10 apiece. Although he was rather blasé about it after shoot around this morning, saying, yeah, it'll be fun, but he didn't seem to have the wide eye to the corner swing. Tony. Wrap around pass, Bruner, and the young man from Columbia, South Carolina, knocks it down. Key part of the second unit. Here come the Blue Devils, Williamson, shovel pass, and the layup is good. Javin Delorier. And again, that's six foot seven to six foot eight. There's some of that good Duke defense we were talking about, and it leads to the transition bucket. Easy two for Barrett. Little floater, doesn't go home, but the put back by Atkinson. Off the inbound, Reddish leans in, tough shot. Jalen Gabadon has come into the game, a guard for Yale. Corner three is good, nice set to find Alex Copeland. Oney with the dribble drive into the teeth of the defense allows for the drive and kick for a good three-point look. Williamson on second effort. The Bulldogs have led by as many as four. Bounce it off. And Reynolds with the slam. Too easy of a blow by off the dribble drive. Help side comes again and no rotation. O'Connell. Bruner tied up by Deloria. Barrett gives to Jones. Defense turned into offense once again. The Duke lead is four. Violations. Bruner picked up the dribble. That opens the door for O'Connell with the tomahawk. A little bit of Rosetta Stone. Translate that defense into some offense. O'Connell, the O'Dunk. Barrett over Oni for three. This is the largest lead so far, and another poke away by White. Once again, a run out, and Barrett lays it in. What a heck of a catch, huh? Got a lot going on. The number one rated recruit by ESPN a year ago. There goes his partner in crime, Williamson. Go in the open floor. Brunson behind the back. Atkinson lays it in. Maybe give him a high ball screen, let him drive on this Duke defense. It's been giving up driving lanes and gaps to pursue. Well, he picks up an assist on the three-pointer by Azar Swain. Comes your ball screen for Oni. Mie Oni hanging in the air. White blocked the shot. Five seconds. Here's O'Connell from the corner. White with the follow slam. And that'll take us to halftime. Duke on top by nine. When Jimmy B came to work for ESPN, they had a friendship that endured right to the end. Produced by Derek Wittenberg about that magical 1983 season for North Carolina State. 
And also about the life and times of Jimmy V. Trey Jones with the bucket for Duke. The lead is 12. Turn it up here. And to their credit, despite the offensive struggle, shots not falling. The energy has been omnipresent from the Blue Devils. Oney managed to get it to Reynolds for the bucket. In spite of that, like you said, Yale's expected to uh, challenge for the Ivy League championship. Off the bounce. Dangerous spot for Phils, able to avoid the sideline, right to the basket, and he puts it in. Ryan Williamson, long pass ahead, finds Barrett. Back to number one, and Zion with that soft left hand. Got away with the travel. Easy. Well, Duke's a perfect five for five now in the second half from the floor after the slam dunk by White. Moving without the basketball, finds the receiver. Beautiful basketball. Oni, the step back. That's a big time move right there. Well, Cam Reddish starting to feel it, beginning to heat up. People hate the Yankees because they're so good or they love them. Same with the Patriots, same with Duke basketball. But you're watching a brilliant mind at work behind the scenes when you watch out with Coach K the gas I like it defensively for such a turnover prone offense and yeah threading the needle on the bounce Trey fills with a beautiful pass and Blake Reynolds the easy two he is the straw that starts to drink well there's one of the other straws RJ Barrett now with 14 Jones second in the ACC at six assists per game behind Virginia Tech's Justin Robinson there's another steal and here he comes The uh, latest ESPN.com mock draft has Zion 1, RJ 2, Cam Reddish 4. Can't go wrong either way. Back cut. Nice setup. Atkinson with the feed. Rebounds, 4 assists. Speaks to the balance of this Duke team. They haven't gone without. They've been just fine with contributions from several guys. Simply throws it in the crowd. Copeland being hounded by Williamson who blocks it from behind. Swain give it back. Bruner lets the defender go by and gets a dunk. Almost caught Barrett off guard. And you know for as much as Zion Williamson is there's another takeaway. And another chance for three for Barrett. He fouled out on that play. 12 points on three of eight shooting in 26 minutes flying along the baseline Jordan Bruner with the flush Absolutely proud of the young man the Trey has become and there are similarities between father and son they both wear number 13 he's one game throughout their college career back near their home region here comes Copeland who lays it in and so Trey Phils has all sorts of folks who he credits as among the many who helped him growing up Williamson finding for 45 points so far. Williamson's out ahead. The pass from Barrett takes him to the rim. Copeland. 83-58 Duke. 347 remaining. Reddish. There's White going after it. Delorier ripped it away. Barrett. Give him 30. I think the Cameron Crazies are now chanting, we want Harvard as White knocks down the three. Seasons, and they're still playing for something here. O'Connell had to put it up with the shot clock winding down and just into the game. Antonio Vrankovic. Balanced effort, high level energy, protecting their home floor. Winning against the teams you should beat, the mark of a very impressive squad. I walked away this evening very impressed with Duke and their effort. R.J. Barrett goes for 30 points. Zion Williamson adds 20. And our final score, third-ranked Duke, 91, Yale, 58.